Hey girl, Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty. Welcome back to my channel. And as you guys can see from the title, today I will be doing a puffer coat review. You guys know that I did a puffer coat part one and part two on my channel ahead of time. It was the glitter mesh, open it up, graffiti, spandex print, puffer coat, and it was amazing. But this time, I'm gonna show you guys the new and improved puffer coat and what I used to stuff it this time. Yes stuff it this time. Go ahead and show you guys the products that I use and then I'm going to try it on so you guys can see what it's looking like. So the stuffing that I use for this new puffer coat, it says fluffy stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that but it says fluffy stuff and 100% pure polyester fiber and it's normally what you use inside of teddy bears and if you guys noticed in my first video, I didn't use that. I used the foam about this thick. But if I take some out, I want to show you guys what it actually looks like. So this is what I used inside of my puffer coat. And honestly, I like this version better because it gives it more of a defined look when you do the seams. And it's just more softer compared to my first one that I made. It's a bit thicker. It feels like a book. It feels like a mattress, actually but I like this version better and if I put it together like this it's so much softer so imagine this in your coat it just makes it feel so much better and the cost of this bag was $6.99 it may be cheaper depending on your location but this is what I use and everything else was the same zipper um, for the lining I used a nice brown suede and for the fabrics, it was your regular um, woven, you know, regular fabrics. So now that I showed you guys the inside, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually try on the coat. This coat is so sick. I showed a couple of my friends and they want one, but uh, no, cause it was too much damn work. Mm. Okay guys, you wanna see it? You wanna see it? Okay, so this is my puffer coat. This is my puffer coat, it is so, First of all, this shit is so bomb. Like, I'm a fan of my own work. Like, okay. This is so sexy. And this is very in season. I know a lot of people, like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I know this print is in season. I know this, the puffer coat is in season. But to actually mix colors like this, I haven't seen before. So I wanted to actually to try and make it. It was my first time. I, it took me about four days because I had to go to work, come home, work on it. And I was very anal when it came to making this coat. I wanted it to come out perfect, and it did. So sometimes when you take your time, it comes out even 10 times better than what you even imagined. The only thing, the only thing I wish that I would have done was add pockets to this. I didn't add any pockets. I just wanted to make make it and make it work and make it clean as possible. And I don't have any pockets right here. But anyway, um, I'm gonna describe it first, front, side, and back, and then I'm gonna try it on so you guys can see. So again, this is the side sleeve, and this is one print, this is one print, and I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but yes, I sold the lines across to give it that puffer feel here, and then here. And you guys see how it goes in right here that's because the stuffing is making it puffer and this is my wrist that I added the elastic to so this is the side the front has elastic in it at the waistband and this is your regular brown zipper I got from you know a regular store and as you guys can see you can see the lines on the front of the coat and I kind of messed up at the the neck as you guys can see, it's uneven. What I should have done, which I don't know why I didn't do it, because, you know, duh, I'm a designer. We all do this. But anyway, I was rushing, but not rushing. I was worried about so many other things about this coat. I didn't match up the neck seams. So remember, you guys, when I told you in my how to sew on a zipper video, make sure you guys match up your lines. That's very important. But it's not that bad. And once you have this jacket on, you can't really tell the difference. And the back is just plain. So the the print is actually like a, a hunter, like a hunter's print. I don't know what this says. Uh, this fabric was very inexpensive, which was awesome for me to practice on. And 
this is the neck it's a very thick neck because I actually want to wear this coat you know so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys the inside a little bit closer this is the lining of the coat it is suede it feels so good and I just thought that with the print being this dark the print being this dark I think a suede like this will make it so much better so oh I love this it fits it's just a suede against my skin it's like you know so yeah this is the coat that I made it is so tell me this is not like this is dope like this is so in season, it's so dope. <laughs> if I was doing a photo shoot in this, I'd be like, bam. Put one hand in my pocket, like, bam. Bring this over a little bit, bring this over. And pose you guys, like, bam. Yeah, I'll go to the side a little bit and be like, bam. Yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna close it because it actually does close. Remember guys, my breasts are a little bit big, but I'm gonna wear this coat. Okay, let's close it. Alright, and then let's zip her. So it zips up very slowly. See? And I have lip gloss on. I just don't want the lip gloss to go on the suede. Okay. So see, once you have this on, it doesn't really bother me the seam right here that it's not even because it's big but you know ah. arms up arms down to the side to the back to the other side All right. so yes I love this coat and see it's very padded like if I go close enough up here like there's still space it's padded enough I could have added more padding but you know, I don't want my breasts to be like out here or the stuffing to be like out here. But it fits really, really, really good. I think I'm gonna do another one. So yeah, if you guys wanna learn or see little snippets of what I'm doing, follow me on Snapchat. I post everything on Snap, like what I'm doing, how to do the zipper, how to do the sleeve. I post all that stuff on my Snapchat, so yeah. And then I'm gonna unzipper it. Or you can just rock it like this, but I will wear this any day. And again, let me tell you the, uh, the patterns I use, I had an old coat. I just put my muslin on top of the old coat, like literally on top of the coat, traced it and traced the sleeve. It's really your basic bodice. This is your basic. Anyway, I don't even pick up my house phone. But yeah, anyway, like I said, this was, if you guys can see, this is a basic pattern. I mean, a basic bodice, basic sleeve. What I did was just to put two fabrics together and I made the lines according to how long the sleeve was. The sleeve is just a regular triangle, see, a long triangle all the way around, the stuffing in here as well. And that's practically it. And then the inside is also, let me see, this inside is also suede and there's lines on the inside. So yeah, that's, that's really it. Like I said, this is a puffer review. I showed you guys the inside of what I use compared to my puffer coat part one and part two. If you guys want to learn how to make a puffer coat, go watch my other videos, part one and part two on how to create a puffer coat. This one was just showing you what I've done and what I use for the inside and how it came out because it's the same method as part one and part two. It's just that instead of the foam that I used that was about one inch, I used the stuffing that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So, if you guys like this video, if you guys think this shit is fire, let me see those fire emojis down in the comments. Again, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'm doing a giveaway very soon. The people, you must be following me on Instagram, Snapchat, and my song group, and on Facebook. You must be following me on all social media outlets. And make sure you guys at me when you follow me or put me in your story. I will write your names down and put your name in the bucket for the giveaway. The giveaway is coming very, very soon. But you guys got to follow me on Instagram, okay? And all other social media outlets. So, ah, I'm a fan of my own work. I'm hot. Even though it's winter and it's like 10 degrees right now, 
it's hot in this apartment, so this jacket gotta come off, but. I'm a fan of my own work, and you guys should be a fan of your own work. That's the key, be a fan of your own work. But, I gotta go. I'm hot, ooh, child. Back on the hanger. I gotta go, bye guys.